Hey, look at there down here. We have all these little mushrooms. They're hundreds. They're hundreds around here. And they've got a little pink cap, little black stem, and they smell of garlic. A lot of different fungi have different smells. And this one I just picked from here, it's got a grey cap and a shiny stem and it smells of swimming pools, like chlorine. So different fungi have different smells. But what they are doing is very helpful to us in that they're breaking down the needles of the trees, the leaves, the old wood, recycling the food stuff so that the other plants around here can take it up and grow. And there are another group of fungi which literally grow in a marriage with trees. And these are the same sorts of relationships that made the rainforests of the world tick. Those of Southeast Asia, of the Amazon, of uh, Africa. All those trees are dependent on fungi helping the tree to get its nutrients to grow to these enormous sizes. So they're helping these trees here to grow in this uh, soil here. And these fungi are very different to those in the grasslands and the mound which is outside the woodland on the reserve. And there you have a whole group of, of fungi which like to live in grasslands but there again they're breaking down the dead and dye material, recycling the nutrients so the grasses can grow. And there too, most of the grasses are associated in some way with fungi to make them grow and allow them to grow much better. And funnily enough, on the mound there seems to be fungi which have been there for hundreds, if not thousands of years, telling us that these grasslands around here are very ancient.